in this session you learn how to upload images, audio and video files. As of April 12, 2018, I have actually not come across one single Rails tutorial for or Rails app tutorial that provides instructions on how to upload pics, vids and music all together. Uh, I might be wrong, but I have not been able to find so, so hopefully this will be useful for all of you who are doing Rails. We will use the common gem called Paperclip and we will also use the less common video transcoder gem that Paperclip also provides. We will add both video and image processor to your computer and I provide a link to the web page for instructions on how to install the video processor which I will go through as well. Personally I already have most of these installed but follow my instructions and you will be fine. I will go through everything with you. Okay, all right, but let's get started and I hope we survive. I guarantee you though, in the end, it all works out fine. Okay, let's go. Alright, so first in your browser window, go to rubygems.org. Okay, and here in the search bar, type paper clip. Okay, and select the first choice on top here. Alright, scroll down. Okay, and it was updated March 9th, 2018. But scroll down and in the right sidebar, click on home page. That takes us to the GitHub page. Copy this URL and open up a new tab in your browser and paste it in. And hit enter so we open up the GitHub page. And in your previous tab, just hit the back button so you're back at the Ruby gem as well. Now back to the GitHub tab, scroll down and let's take a look at the requirements. So first we need an image processor called ImageMagic, which is native to your system and your computer. You can check if you have it installed by typing which convert in your terminal. So open up the terminal win window and then type which convert. And then we'll, that will show us a path where the image magic is. Okay, go back to the browser again here to the, the GitHub page and then here you say for example it might return slash US, USR local da, da, da. so we have it installed. If you don't have it installed and you have a Mac OS you can follow these instructions and if you have it on an Ubuntu system then you can do the apt-get install image magic and if you run on a Windows system you have to click this link and follow these instructions so pause if you need to and then come back when you have it installed let's go back to the gem file and copy the gem and then I'm going to go to my terminal. I cleared it and then I will cd into my projects directory. So I do cd ROR projects slash blog. I hit enter. Normally I type Adam space dot. I actually already have my text editor open. So open up yours if you need to. Go to the gem file and scroll down. I already have the gems installed. But down here you would simply paste in the link you just copied from the RubyGem page and paste it in. Okay. Then go to your terminal and type bundle install and hit enter. And then you would see how it installs. Okay. So do that. Then go back to the GitHub page. And we're going to, to scroll here and see what it says here in your environment config, right? So let's follow these instructions. You're going to 
copy the code below here, paperclip.options, and go back to your text editor. Click on config, click on environments, and open up development.rb. We're going to scroll down to the, here you have an if statement, and the else, and then the end. And after the end, paste in the link you just, or the code you just copied. If you had a different path at which convert, you need to put in that path. All right? So it follows your path. Okay? Now let's go back to the browser again. And let's see, um, let's go to the paper clip. And now we need a gem for transcoder for the video for the paper clip. So type in here paper clip dash av dash transcoder. And that's the gem to transcode the videos we're going to upload. Again, so uh, perfect. Here we are. So scroll down again and let's do the same thing. Let's uh, click on home page and we're going to want to copy this URL and open up a new tab in the browser and paste it in and in the original tab just hit the back button so you have the yeah ruby gem page open but anyway back to the github page and let's scroll down so see so we're going to have to install something called ffmpeg and then also the gem of course okay so let's go to the gem uh, and copy the gem link and then back to your the gem file and you're going to paste it in here again and then you go back to your terminal and type bundle install okay again i have it installed so i'm not going to do it but you just hit enter now okay then you're going to have the trans paper clip transcoder coder installed okay back to the browser all right now we're going to check for this FFMPEG, which is the processor, just as Image Magic is the processor for the images. So below, copy the link then and go to this page in your browser. Okay. So here we have some instructions. So if you're running on a f Ubuntu 14.04, we will have to install it. Uh, later, it should actually come with the FFMPEG. But go to your terminal and we're going to check if it's, this is installed. So you just typed FFMPEG-V and I have it installed here. I have version 3.3.3. Okay. But if you don't have it installed, we will follow the instructions. So you need to copy this sudo apt-get and paste it in right there. And then it's going to ask for your password since we do sudo. And you type in your password. And you hit enter. Okay, I already installed so I don't have to do it. Then we go back and we do apt-get update. And I can update it with you. So I just type in my password and we want to update it. And while this is updating, I'm going to go back to the browser window again. So do not do dist upgrade. We don't need to do that. But copy this install for the FFMPEG. Okay, copy this code. Let's wait for it to finish. Good, I'm going to, to clear the terminal. And I'm going to paste it in right there. And this will install this video processor. Okay, so again, I have it installed, but you hit enter and you install it. Okay, and when you're done, you simply check if it was installed again by FFMPEG-V. And then you would see something similar, that version installed. Okay, perfect. All right, now that is taken care of. So 
let's open up a new tab and if you don't have it installed and run on a um, Mac or Windows so follow what I just did go to ffmpeg.org click download you can click on the green download button or you can click here uh, for more downloading options you can select your Windows or uh, Apple packages but the green button should do it all right back to the uh, the, the sorry the rubygem.org uh, we also gonna do something for the cloud a gem so you type we search for I just type AWS dash SDK dash s3 and you can copy the the gem link go to your gem file and paste it in okay this is for Amazon web services and we can upload images to that one later not today but later back to and clear the window okay and I'm going to okay let's see what happened I got out, out of my directory so I need to CD into my directory again so CD ROR projects slash blog okay and then afterwards you do bundle install to install the AWS gem I already have it installed but you could just hit enter all right so now we have these three gems installed and in your development file we have a path for paperclip to find image magic all right and now we're going to go and install the gems completely on our system okay which I haven't done so I do that with you so go back to the gem file and copy the install link and paste it into your terminal and hit enter. Alright, while this is going, go back to the RubyGem windows again. Go back to the paperclip-iv-transcoder and cl click on the install link to copy it and then paste it into your terminal again. well here all right perfect that's done now we're going to go to the paperclip gem so I'm just hitting the back arrow in this window clicking the install code to copy it and in the terminal I'm pasting in it back in again here gem install paperclip and hit enter all right so this came up with some instructions whenever this happened after you install a gem I like to copy this all right ever when you install a gem and you get some instructions it's always good to save so copy it if it, this all the way to all those pound signs there and I'm just going up it open up my text editor and paste it in and then I will save it so I'm gonna do save and I will call it paperclip underscore terminal so then I know that these are the instructions that came from the terminal when installing the paperclip gem all right so perfect all right so that's that and now we are ready to go and do the coding all right let's get cracking with it all right, so I closed everything here. And if you have closed everything as well, then open up your terminal. And I'm going to CD into my projects directory again. So CD space ROR projects slash blog. All right. And then I type Adam space dot to open up my projects directory in my text editor and then we open up a new tab where we will start the server so type rails space s make sure you are in your projects path when you do that all right server is running So what we're going to do now, actually, let's go open up your browser. I'm going to open up Firefox. Oops, I typed localhost in the search bar. didn't mean to do that, so I copy that and I paste it into the address bar. All right, let's open up. So take a look at our application. There we are, our happy blog. And let's sign in 
with our admin privileges so I sign in with my admin I created and you sign in with yours that you probably did I think it was a couple of weeks ago no a month ago there we go welcome admin user one you are you successfully signed in perfect all right so let's see what we need to do we need to go to the terminal I will clear this and now we will create columns for we will we'll name it music and we will have photo and we will have video okay so here we will type rails generate and then type paperclip and then we name type the name of the table which is article and the name of the column we're creating which is photo okay hit enter all right so this will generate a migration file perfect all right go to your text editor and go to the db folder and open up your migrate folder and click on the last one there okay so here we go we have created the class now it says add attachment photo to articles so this enable us to attach a photo when we upload and back in the terminal run rails db colon migrate all right there we go so i created a these columns in the articles table use the up arrow to generate the music for paper clips if you saw what i did instead of photo i typed music go to migration file again and then click on the next one and you should now have an add attachment for the music back in the terminal we need to run rails db migrate for the music attachment as well okay perfect so let's do clear and then i'm going to do the up arrow again to get rails db rails generate and instead of music i will name it movie this column where we can upload our videos okay perfect so let's just run the migration for it rails db colon migrate all right okay the migration is done let's go and take a look at the schema file now so open up your schema.rb okay i'm closing these migration files and then my schema file scroll down to your articles table and you should have what i have now so it actually have generated four different things for photos music and movie to handle the file upload all right let's go and clear and now we need to actually restart the server so go to your server window hit Control c and then i cleared it and then i do rails s again remember Control c stops the server okay and now the server is running again all right so let's first go and create the forms so go to your views folder and go to your articles folder and go to your new file new.html.erb okay and right here after articles path after the comma type html colon curly brackets type multi part or multi part colon true this enables html to upload files as well and not just text okay and now we need to create the form form format for it so scroll down and underneath here text area let's op give it a p tag first let's open up a p tag and then close the p tag and in here open up the ruby syntax less than sign percent at shine equal type f dot label oh american spell la spelling label not british and then colon photo and close the ruby syntax and give it the break tag and then open up the ruby syntax again an equal sign and then type f dot file underscore 
field f i e l d then space colon photo okay and let's do a comma and we're going to do a class colon form control so we have the same forms as before okay well the design of them is the same close the ruby syntax there we go all right that's all we need here and let's copy this and we're going to paste it twice once for the music and once for the videos okay and up here where it says photo change it to music and then change this to music as well and here change this to movie and also change this to movie there we go save everything okay and now we will go to the model files okay so I close my file here and I go to model and open up articles.rb okay and in here now we're going to give the instructions remember the model is the one that speaks or communicates with the database anyhow let's start with the coding for the photo upload so below here type has underscore attached underscore file this is a method for paperclip type colon oopsie, photo p h o t o there we go comma type styles with an s and then colon and now curly brackets we're going to put in the dimensions for the photo upload so here type large and then double quotation and let's say it would be 450 by 450 and a graded and signed so this will be greater or equal than 450 type comma and then let's have a thumb dimensions for a thumbnail so t-h-u-m-b and then colon and then double quotations and let's set this to 50 by 50 and let's say a pound sign and that freezes it to 50 by 50 let's go to a new line and here type validates underscore attachment underscore content underscore type so now we're going to check the type for jpd jpg ping gif or something and again here type colon photo comma and then type again content underscore type colon and here we're going to make use of something called special characters and special characters are used when reading file names so the computer knows where to start and end for instance a backslash capital A anchors the start of a string or for instance backslash W is for any letter digit or underscore so you can have any of those in a file name a backslash Z anchors the end of a string because we need to tell the computer when the file name ends so here type a forward slash and then a backslash and oops a capital a for beginning of the string type image and then a backslash again and a forward slash dot star for uh, that takes a while it's like a wild card actually and backslash z and then a forward slash okay that's it for the code for the photo now let's do for the music upload okay and here again we're gonna type has underscore attached underscore file and type colon music okay you might have figured that out already and let me move everything up higher up the screen so you see better and here type validates underscore attachment okay 
and then colon music and then type a comma and on the next line type colon content underscore type and we're going to do a hash rocket if you remember that a hash rocket is an equal sign and a greater than sign actually I put all on the same line and then curly brackets colon type content underscore type again and then a hash rocket and then square brackets and within here we're going to put in the file type so here we put audio slash mpeg we can do and then a comma and actually the quotation mark needs to be before the comma there and within again quotation marks here type audio slash mp3 so just going to check if we're going to upload mp3 files all right and here type a comma and then on the next line we need to do file colon file oopsie f i l e file underscore type and then do a hash rocket again and then curly brackets and within here do colon matches and a hash rocket and then we're gonna do some special characters within the square brackets so forward slash we're gonna do mp3 backslash z so then it checks and forward slash again so after it finishes reading the mp3 by putting in the slash z it knows it's the end of the file name it reads all right let's do it for the movies too and the movie and video upload okay so again you might figure it out we have start with hash attached hash underscore attached underscore file and then colon movie and then we're going to have here do a comma and then we're going to do colon styles and a hash rocket and then on a new line I'm going to put in two curly brackets and then within this curly brackets we will put the dimensions for the file upload or for the video so type colon and let's name it medium and we're going to do a hash rocket and then curly brackets and within here we have to say colon geometry this is for the processor for the transcoder gem okay so colon geometry hash rocket and let's give it the dimensions of 640 by 480 within double quotation marks and then afterwards type a comma and then colon format f o r m a t and then single quotation and let's put have the format to be mp4 all right another comma and on the new line we're going to put in options for a thumbnail as well so colon thumb and a hash rocket and the curly brackets we're going to do geometry again so type colon geometry hash rocket and um, so let's set these dimensions to 100 by uh, 50 I think that's good and then comma afterwards and colon format and let's have this to be a, a jpg right and then we're going to also put in a timer in here so do colon and no comma colon time and actually i need a hash rocket here there we go all righty okay here and we need a hash rocket and let's say 10 so this is going to put a timer on the on the thumbnail if we have one okay we're probably not going to use it but it's good to have it in case we do it later on i'm moving this curler bracket up here and after this curler bracket put in a comma and here is something important type colon processor and then square bracket and within square bracket type colon transcoder so this tells rails to use that transcoder gem all right 
and underneath here we need to do validates underscore attachment underscore content underscore type again which is going to be similar as photo but we're going to type colon movie and then comma and then type content type or content underscore type so here content underscore type colon and then we're going to have the same special characters as up here, but we will replace image with the word video. So copy that and paste it in. And here instead of image, type video. So now the content type, type is validated and it knows it's a video. All right, so now we're going to go to the in the views folder. No, actually we're going to go to the controller and open up the articles controller and scroll down to your private method. So we didn't hear articles params. Don't worry about this pick here. I just did it for testing. Type photo, comma, colon, music, comma, colon, movie. All right, that's all we need to do there save everything and now go to your views folder and in the articles folder open up show.html.erb okay and in here underneath the call dash md dash seven type open up the ruby syntax without the equal sign and type if at article dot photo dot present Finish with a question sign and close the Ruby syntax. So we want to check if the if a photo was uploaded, then we want to display the photo. So less than sign, percentage sign, equal sign, and then type add article see, dot photo. So now it's gonna go and look in the table for that photo and close the Ruby syntax. There are a few more things in here, but let's just finish up the basics first. And then put in an else here. So no equal sign in this statement. And then let's close it here. Less than sign, percentage sign, n. End. Okay, let's copy this style right there. And we're going to put it in right above with the article at photo there. And then we actually need the image tag as well. So it goes search for it. And then I will wrap all this within a parenthesis. So basically what it says here, if the if a photo is present and the, then it goes and search for it and displays it, else it displays the banner. Okay. Now we need to do the same for the music and for the video. So I copied the code this above, above there and let's scroll down to where it's finished article.text and change the photo to music. Okay, And underneath here open up the Ruby syntax again less than sign percentage sign equal sign and we will give it an audio tag. So this is the tag to display music. So audio underscore tab, tag, parenthesis, type at article, dot music, and then comma, type controls. This is the controls for the music, and type true. So start music, and all those things. And then comma, let's put in a style, um, I can actually just go up and copy the style here from above. So copy that. And let's go down and then paste it in. Make sure you have the closing parenthesis there. Okay. And then we need an end. And let's wrap this within the P tag as well. So underneath here, on the article.txt, open up a p tag. And then underneath the end statement, close the p tag. And we actually need the closing after that parenthesis, need the closing the Ruby syntax there. Okay. 
now and the p tag and then this was the p tag for the article so i just cut that and i paste it in there above it okay we can just copy this for and paste it below and we're going to change the music to movie and instead of audio audio tag we're going to say video tag and and this music here will say movie okay. save everything okay i think we're ready to test it actually it's one more thing i want to do here actually bring, I'm, I'm going to tag type colon single quotation and let's in here type video slash mp4 oops four there we go and a, and a comma afterwards okay that checks if it's an mp4 okay so we we're going to limit ourselves to an mp3 and mp4 for today okay now let's go to the browser i think Okay, yep, we're going to go to the browser, we're going to refresh, and hopefully I haven't done any silly syntax error or something. And I did, alright. Well, it's probably maybe a hash rocket that is wrong, or some uh, colon, so let's see what it says, unexpected string at the beginning. Okay, so let's go back and look here. Alright, here, I forgot a hash rocket. If you remember, I did the hash rocket for the JPG underneath. Let's go back to the browser, refresh. Okay, one more little syntax error. And that's by the processor. It needs a hash rocket there too. So go back to your text editor. And we're going to fix that. Okay, so right there after processor, it needs a hash rocket right before that square bracket. Let's refresh. Perfect. All right. So let's click on, uh, let's create a new, um, sorry, I, I hit the create uh, article button and now I'm putting in some test code here. So I'm putting in testing photos and music. Let's do the music and photos first. Putting in some gibberish here. And then I hit the photo to browse. I go to upload the pictures here from my file. All right, I'm going to, actually I'm going to do a GIF, so just show that it can handle anything. That's a good one. It is from Young Frankenstein. If you've never seen that movie, please go and do so. Right, let's sele select the music file. So I go to music, and then I'm going to go to something called Mr. B's, which was a jazz club at one point. And I will select a little thing that I recorded a long, long time ago. All right. And let's actually do the video right away as well. All right, so hit the movie button and I go and select the videos here. I'm going to select a screenshot for one of these videos that I did a snippet on to get test and then save article. All right, so it's going to take a little bit for it to process, probably half a minute or so. Later on, what would be cool to have is, of course, the progress bar with JavaScript. But all this is going to be good now. Let's cross our fingers and let's hope it works. Oop, yeah, there we go. What hump is it saying? And look, there are our music and our videos. Let's test the video. I'm hit play and it plays a little bit. Cool. Let's do the music. Yep. Here we go, little music. Oh, I stopped it. Let's just start it again here. There we go. All righty. So I hope it was successful for you too. If not, really, ch really check your syntax. It's so easy to make small mistakes, even a comma, you know, reach havoc. But go back to the list of articles and let's actually uh, fix so we can edit these files as well. Maybe re-upload or upload a film or so. We need the forms for the edit articles so go to your views file in your text editor and open up the edit file and also open up the new file again if you have closed that we basically want to be able to copy what we did so copy this including the comma html dot and multi part true and then go to the edit 
articles and paste it in right after at article. All right, uh, but before the do loop starts. Okay, go back to the new file again and copy all your forms here from the photo down down to the movie at the ending paragraph. Copy it. Go back to the edit file and underneath the closing paragraph for the text area, paste everything in. That's all you need to do. Save it. Go back to the browser and refresh. Okay, I'm going to click on edit on the far top one here. Great, so now we have those file upload forms. So I'm just going to put in some uh, text here, testing the edit. And we're going to upload one photo only, and then we test it if it's fine to just upload without music and video as well. So I'm going to upload this one, Mimas and Moon of Saturn. I hit update article. There we go. It all worked, okay? Mimas is funny. It looks like the Death Star, and it was discovered after Star Wars. Alrighty. So we're done. Let's actually do a show here and let's go and narrow it and just see how it will look in the mobile format. And that looks pretty. So that's how it will look on a cell phone window, like an iPhone or a Samsung or whatever, smartphone. And it works nice. And the music works. Perfect. All right, this is now 41 minutes long. So let's go and do git commit so here in your terminal let's do git status all right let's do clear let's do git um, add space dot there we go and now let's clear and then let's do git commit dash m and single quotation and then let's write about what we did. So we added the ability to upload mm, pics, vids, and audio. With paper clip and a jet jam. So with the paper clip jam and including uh, transcoder gem. There we go. Oops, not gen, gem. G E M. And and uh, and added mm, oh, F F M P E G mm, processor or two pro. Let's do two two system for processing. Let's say that. Yeah. All right, it's late uh, for video processing. There. All right. And then clear and git status. On branch master nothing to commit. Leave me a comment. I'd be happy to comment and help out if you made some mistakes. If you didn't, you're missing things. It doesn't work. All right. Anyway, I see you next time. I have some like buttons and subscribing buttons, as you know. So you can hit those. Thanks. Bye bye.